What's up, everyone? Welcome into Dodger Heads, presented by DodgerBlue.com. My name is Jeff Spiegel, joined today by Matt Moreno. Matt, some some news even in a lockout. The Mets are looking for a manager, and they have interviewed a pair of Dodger uh, coaches. Bob Guerin, the bench coach, Clayton McCullough, the first base coach, both on their list of folks who have interviewed. What can you tell us about the latest on these two stories? Yeah, so based on the report so far, the Mets are going through kind of the first round of interviews. Um, there has been a, a sentiment or a general consensus, if you will, that Buck Showalter is probably the front runner mm -hmm. in this. Uh, nothing is official yet, obviously, but you know, Bob, to me, Bob Guerin wasn't much of a surprise. I honestly was uh, shocked. If anything, I was shocked by how long it kind of took for yeah. his name to surface. Uh, Clayton McCullough is surprising to me. You know, he does have managerial experience in the minor league ranks uh he's just coming off his first season as the first base coach for the dodgers he had been in the organization for multiple years before that he was instrumental in running uh, their alternate training site at usc in 2020 when teams had you know the separate camps because of you know trying to navigate the season with uh, the pandemic going on i i don't i think if i had to pick between the two i would give bob garen a little bit of a leg up just because he has you know major league yeah. managerial experience um, you know, Andrew Friedman said last month that he expected the entire coaching staff to remain in place for next season. Obviously, <laughs> you can't necessarily foresee what's going to come in terms of managerial searches. And so that's kind of where we're at now. Yeah. So you mentioned, I mean, Garen was the Oakland A's manager from 2007 to 2011. So he's 334 and 376 career. So it's a guy with managerial experience. Been with the Dodgers since the 2016 season. And, and I mean, like you kind of hinted at, he has managerial experience. And honestly, the bench coach is kind of like manager in waiting in most of these organizations, especially in an organization that is as well run as the Dodgers. I mean, you've seen guys at lesser positions than the bench coach go on and um, be managers. Gabe Kapler, um, Chris Woodward in Texas, etc. So you've seen um, guys move out of that. So I agree with you. Garen seems like he makes some sense. On one hand, you could argue, hey, this is a guy who was a manager back in 2011 and, and is an older guy. You know, I don't know how old he is right now, born in 1961. So what does that make him? 60 years old. So, I mean, maybe he's one of these bench coaches that is sort of in the twilight of his career and is just sort of like along for the ride and his managerial days are behind him. Whereas McCullough, you've got a younger guy there. Um, he's 41 years old, as you pointed out, just one season with the Dodgers, first base coach, which again, even first base coach is typically lower in the, in the sort of hierarchy than third base coach. So, I, I agree with your assessment. Surprised at first base. Um, not so surprised with the bench coach. I mean, if either of these guys were to get the job, which again, as you pointed out, would be a surprise, would that impact the Dodgers at all in your estimation? I think if it's Bob Guerin, that's going to be a pretty significant impact. And it's not just because, like you said, the bench coach is obviously the, you know, the manager's right-hand man. Yeah. But Bob Guerin is also very good at his job. He is respected by all the players. The players, you know, love him, his insight. He knows the rule book sometimes better than the umpires. I mean, how yeah. many we've watched games and Bob Guerin comes out there and he's explaining, no, this is actually what needs to happen and this is what's going on. And then the umpires will get together and sort it out. Uh, so that would be a significant loss to me. And it, it would, you know, not doom the Dodgers by any means, but it would just be another, you know, kind of big hole, if you will, that they have to plug on top of all of the roster turnover stuff. You know, obviously Max Scherzer and Corey Seager are already gone, and there's still the potential for Clayton Kershaw, Kenley Jansen to not be back as well. And, you know, they could be, you know, maybe there, there could be more turnover than we kind of already uh, have seen and expected. Yeah, there's a sense of you'd love to have some form of consistency with a number of those bigger name guys, guys that have been around already gone. The idea of lo losing somebody all, all along the coaching ranks as well. Somebody is, like you said, he's the number two most influential coach in the locker room in Garen um, would, would be a, a blow to him. So um, we'll see how that, and I mean, who knows, Clayton McCullough, he might be getting interviewed and maybe it's, He's, he's being told he's interviewing for the manager's job, but it's kind of like they hire Buck Showalter and they're like, hey, but we're going to offer you the bench coach role or we're going to offer you third base coach or something like that. So we'll see. So something to monitor here. Again, lockout. There is some MLB news on the uh, on the managerial side of things. So Mets looking for a manager, two Dodgers coaches among those interviewed. Stay tuned for updates on that. That's Matt Moreno. My name is Jeff Spiegel. This has been Dodger Heads presented by DodgerBlue.com. You can check us out at DodgerBlue.com, DodgerBlue 1958, everywhere on social media. And then if you're here on YouTube, make sure you click the ring the notification bell and click subscribe as well. We appreciate you joining us as always. Enjoy the rest of your day. We'll see you next time.